Hi, this is Joshua Fitzpatrick with AWC. Um, today I'm going to be showing you all how to make a HMI program that can be downloaded by any customer as long as they have a USB stick. This will also include the uh, firmware. So say your HMI program was a V13 and you were programming V15. It will update that HMI as long as it's the same part number as the one that you are working on in the software. So first thing that we're going to do is we're going to look at the current HMI, which I know that mine is a V14, but let's just double check. I'm going to go into Pro Save, type in TP700 Comfort. That's the one that I'm working with. Choose Ethernet connection. My IP address is 192.168.0.3. And let's go to OS Update. And we're going to just press Device Status. It's going to look at the HMI that I'm currently wired up to. And you can see right now it's a version 14. Dot zero, zero, dot zero, one. So it's, an, it's a version 14 SP1 panel. So now that we know that, we're going to now create the backup file that we can then put on the HMI. So let me exit out of this. So right now, I currently plugged up a USB stick into my computer. So the first thing you need to do is go down to card readers and USB memory. Below that, there's going to be removable devices. You're going to need to drop that down. And then your G USB stick is going to show up. If this is not showing up whenever you, you go under card readers, you need to say add user defined card reader. So this is where you will be saving your HMI program to so you can then put it to a different place. So right now, I'll just double click on this just so you all can see it. If I just wanted a, a place on my desktop to put it on, I could just do new folder and then put test. So this is what I would put on my USB stick if I didn't have a USB stick put into. So if I wanted to send it through email, so let's just do that. Say, okay, we're going to choose test. So now it's going to save the files to test, right? And then eventually I'll just put it on USB G. So what you just do is you take this file and mine was a V14 on the HMI panel, but actually right now it's a V15. See, I put it V15. So we're going we're gonna to take this and drag it down to the test on my desktop, and then it's going to create the files. So at this point, it's going to create all the files that are needed for the HMI to put it to my latest program with the latest firmware version. And then we're going to just press load. And now that HMI project is on there. So the other thing that you can do is the same thing with the USB stick. You can just drag it straight to the USB stick. Load. OK, so right now I'm actually smart client into my HMI. We're going to go to uh, settings right now. And then to now that we have the file on the USB stick, which I'm going to now plug in, so I'm going to take that out of my computer. And then I'm going to put that into the HMI. It's now inside the HMI. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to control panel first. Then I'm going to go to service and commissioning. And then you're going to do a load project right there. And then you're going to say next. And then your USB stick should show up. So now I can click on that, click Next, because it has a removable USB stick. Now I can see my tank monitoring HMI underscore two. You can see that same thing as your project right here. So then we're going to just press Next. And at this point, it's going to it's going to actually ask me, do you want to upgrade your runtime and your firmware update? So we're going to checkbox those, checkbox this, press Load. All right, right now it's asking me, are you for sure you want to do an OS update? I'm going to say yes. At this point, my HMI is actually doing a firmware update, so I can't actually physically watch it on the HMI, but currently it's just running through the firmware update, and once it gets back online, I will jump back on Smart Server, and I'll show you that it's actually a version 15.0. Now that the firmware update has finished and it has loaded the HMI screen, let's uh, double check what this HMI's firmware is. So first thing that you would do is you would go to settings, and then you would go to OP, and then you go to device. See, now it's V15.0.3. 
0.0. So that means that my HMI has now updated the firmware and put the HMI program onto it. So let's see what the new HMI looks like. So let's press start. All right, this is the new HMI. Thanks for watching.